Hey, Lance Bailey Poetry here. Got a new poem. Got to be honest, most of the time I'm recording my poetry in advance, but this one came to me today, just by chance. It is called The Wall. Everyone has a wall around something. For protection or privacy, our motives are personal, sometimes even unknowable, but we erect a wall, some thick, some tall, some with a gate or a door with a key, and some walls have no door at all. We build it up brick by brick, block by block, the blueprint adapted and changed, expanded or reduced over time, sometimes seemingly with no reason or rhyme. The wall is simple, to keep others out, to insulate ourselves from sight or shout. It's our fortress that protects or hides our treasure, built to conceal and not reveal our secret pleasures. A wise man once told me so long ago, he said that no one wants to be exposed. Occasionally we let in the friend we hold dear, and maybe we'll reveal our thoughts or our fears. We raise up our arms for our soul to be frisked, but only with that friend or lover will we take the risk. The rest are walled out by purpose, by selection, calculated decisions by free will election. Some's wall is at home or at work or in bed. The boss we don't allow to get in our heads. We limit the audience of the things we have said. Some are simply not trusted, some for reasons of spite. Some simply can't get in because they haven't earned the right. Some walls are straight, others curved and convex. Some are simple constructions, others complex. More often than not, mine are philosophically built. It's about earning the right more so than hiding fear or guilt. It'll happen someday when you wall me out and won't let me play that I'll do the same to you, but maybe in a different way. Even though you won't approach me, I might reach out to you, but still wall a piece of me because that's what we do. You won't trust or confide in me. I'll do the same. No spare key for thee. You don't want to be close, merely association by vocation. That's fine with me. I'll forget you while I'm on vacation. That's when my walls usually come crumbling down, when I'm safe in the walls of some foreign town. It's because you're not there that I act free of care. I no longer need the wall to keep you away at all. But then it's over, back to the street, back at work, wall goes up, cycle repeat. You'll throw rocks at my window when you need my help from escape. And I'll fly over the wall in my trusty cape. But when all is right, Superman flies back from where he was sent. For you, Miss Lois, I'm merely Clark Kent. To a large degree, see, the wall is for thee. But it's more complex than that. Sometimes the wall is for me. We like to control what others see, see behind our private veil. We dole out a crumb and maybe we'll let you see inside our souls a bit. Our big reveal is a real deep well, an exclusive club well. You betcha. <laughs> the wall. Yeah, who really builds the wall? Was it you or, or was it me? Big questions. Dr. Freud from the Fringe. Do me a solid and click and like that subscribe button combination. Leave me comments, hate mail, fan mail, whatever. Just keep it weird, keep it real.